All right, guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're playing once again some Wukong top lane. We're running into the Aurora lane. And for the runes, we got Conquer Presence, we got Alacrity, Last End, Biscuit's Delivery, and Cosmic. So, we're once again playing some Wukong. Don't know if you guys have seen it, but Wukong's win rate is currently almost the highest win rate top laner right now. The win rate from Wukong is insanely high. I love this champion, man. This champion's been performing incredible lately. I'm going to showcase to you. Like, we're into a ranged matchup right is now. Should technically be a winnable matchup. Uh, Wukong is a champion that is a uh, pretty well balanced against, like, everything. Especially, like, tank matchups and ranged matchups because of Q and E. You can, in theory, run Wukong against all champions. And that's why he's performing so well. Wait... Hold up. Right, I'm back. The only problem about Aurora is that she's super annoying to play against, but yeah, we'll figure it out. She prefer having the wave slow push into her and not really into me. Try and make that work. Ooh, solid. Decent traits. I actually got her decently now. Just need to make sure I can get like a good all in again if I can hit level 3 first that would be really good but I think she will hit it first yeah they have a uh, cane in the jungle did not expect to get ganked at 2 minute 55 from the back I was already like wondering why she all in like that okay fortunately this is not it <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to uh, take it easy now. She has the uh, TP difference. I don't have this. Bring me a real challenge. We'll play it safely. Just for a little while. Glad I got D-Shield as well. It allows us to play a little bit more safe uh, at this stage at the very least. If I had Dorn's Blade, I could play really aggro. But I'd also take a lot of damage. Especially if multiple odd attacks and Qs would land. It would be a problem. But fortunately, it's not the problem for us. Yeah, we lose that. See if I can hard shove this lane out. It's unfortunately a cannon wave. We just a bit of a problem. I have to push this because my value of the gold is not good. I want to buy a pickaxe instantly. And she TP'd as well. Just notice that. She does not have TP anymore. So the main objective is to try and push this. We absolutely have to figure out a way. Oh... Just gonna force me like this. Okay. She's using the item advantage. I don't win this. Never mind, I do win this. Because the wave is in my favor. She nearly beaten me in a, such an incredible way, by the way. What she did right there was really good. That was clean. Like, the thing is that um, I was trying... Like, my main objective... I knew I was weaker at that point. Because uh, she had item advantage. She just TP'd back. That's one of the advantages you get if you have a slow push after, you know, being ganked, right? And uh, using TP like that. You get, like, an instant advantage. I couldn't do nothing there, man. I, I either had a choice to fight it out and lose. Or I would just walk away and lose all farm uh, while trying to get items back. Um... My only choice was to figure out a way to push it out, and fortunately it worked out in my favor. I'm glad it did. I got this. I'm happy, man, because we also have the wave in a pretty good position right now. I cannot complain at all. If this cannon goes down without her being here... Yeah, there you go. She wasn't here. Nice. Put me to the test. An enemy has been slain. 
Okay, let's see if we can start playing more aggressive now, because I also have my uh, my ultimate. I've got the... Um... There you go. Got the potions right now. I'm ready. Is that all they've got? There's a cane on top lane. And I, uh, I'd like to be there. Yeah, it's gonna walk away. That's a good thing because I'm not looking to actually lose my farm right now. My place is at Appreciate it. <laughs> it would have been absolutely clean if I could also survive the Aurelia, but unfortunately she ignited. <laughs> that would have been so awesome. I already had a fantastic one versus two right there. Imagine if I got to survive that, man. That would have been incredible. I'm going to go Clip's first item. I'm not going to go... Um, I was thinking about going for Profane Hydra for first item. But it is way more optimal for me to go into the Eclipse build. Um, Eclipse is going to give me better 1v1 potential into Aurora. It will give me some really good traits. And uh, just high damage output. Afterwards, we probably go into Profane Hydra or we go into Trinity. We also have that option. Trinity on Wukong is insanely good. I like that item so much. I'll place a Warto already down. Decent trade. My, my trade was way better. This is why Wukong is so good into ranged matchups. Because even if you're onto a ranged matchup, you, get, you still get to out-trade them. Uh, majority of the time. Not really a good trade, I would say. It's it's kind of decent at most. I got my ultimate coming in like 8 seconds, so... I will be able to win once I obtain it. Ooh. Okay. If we can find... Where she went... Okay, she's currently on the river. Hmm. Interesting. I need like 200. And then I got my Eclipse. I'm surprised that she walked away. I guess she probably recognized that she was going to lose that stuff. I don't know. I guess she probably did. Would you stop? Hmm. It's all about getting the wave under tower right now. Yeah, she's starting to do a lot of damage. I just need to have like less than 50. Oh. I guess I'm dead again. I am being ganked the entire game. I wish I had Jarvan helping me out here, but it's okay. We're still we're still beating up the uh, Aurora. We're still actually killing her before we go down. And maybe for lucky, uh, the wave is going to get stuck in front. Nah, never mind. It didn't. I keep dying to ganks nonstop. I hope that Jarvan can change it. Adapt to all situations. <clears throat> all right, let's run back. I highly believe in like being able to snowball this one. It's just that cane is like preventing me currently. Pretty much stopping me from doing what I have to do. I got this. Let's push this out. Shut down. Ooh, shut down from Jaffin goes away. Enemy killing 
Okay. This will be a pretty tough match. This will be a very difficult one. I just prefer to be in mid lane right now to try and fight Arvelia. Show me the path. I'm gonna push this out with the intentions of rotating. Okay. There we go. I'll probably end up like shoving the lane out constantly at this point. The thing what stops me now is that this thing is in front of my face. I can't go uh, go past it. They'll see exactly where I am. And Aurora is just never coming close to me ever again. I was hoping that the kill could be for me, but it is what it is, I guess. An enemy is unstoppable. An enemy has been slain. <laughs> hmm. Can I get this one too? Nice. Fantastic. Push this too. I need to farm up as many plates as I possibly can. Alright. Figured out that would never work. At least I got two of them. Let's get the AoE. Never settle for second. Barry, not enough for the ADC. I think that we got this game. It is looking quite scary, but it is certainly certainly playable. Aurora is still in the jungle. I'll see how many I can get. Yeah, the plates are gone now. Hmm. You got it. We could be stealing the jungle camps away. Aurelia is moving to top lane. We've got the shutdown, pretty good. Yeah, that cane is like focused so much in my land. I've been noticing that a lot. I've been trying to avoid him. I keep finding him back. I would have gotten my item right now. That's very, very, very unfortunate. If I was able to like farm the, the wave out, maybe kill the Aurora, get the tower, I would have 100% like gotten my item. So it's unfortunate it got delayed. Uh, quick question. Do you think that they will actually nerf Wukong again? So, I don't know. Wukong is like the type of champion that Riot has been buffing and buffing and buffing and buffing and infinitely buffing and people like... It's, it's like kind of forgotten, but he's still been buffed and buffed and buffed and the win rate from this champion is ridiculous right now since then It's actually like really interesting Tons of changes, but yeah, just forgotten basically Let's pick up the next wave too. Nice. That tower is also ours. Got no one to, no one to stop me from taking it. Except their jungler. 
another shutdown. Bro, we're, we're literally, literally farming shutdowns like left to right. <laughs> All of them are going down. Uh, let's go for Prophet Hydra, and then we're gonna go into Trinity. Your turret has been destroyed. Every mistake nice. Is a lesson. So we're gonna go Eclipse, Prophet Hydra, and then look in for Trinity. I'll let Jarfer can walk mid lane again, see if we can fight the uh, Aurelia one more time. I don't know where our value is currently. Oh, he's picking this up. Nah, he's not there anymore. Yeah, that for the the remaining of the fight, I was being absolutely perma CC'd. It is what it is. Okay. I think for this game, it would make the most sense if I go steel caps. But I kind of don't want to do this. <laughs> I feel like wanting to go lucidity rather than going steel caps. Uh, because even if I go steel caps, I still have trouble into into their AP. Like, they got two champions that can absolutely delete me. Alright. Let's go. Drake will spawn in 22. Need people to group for Dragon. Spawning in 15. Well, that's it. I'm just gonna get ready for it. And back to myth. This Aurelian soul, uh, Aurelian soul. This this Aurelia is super important. You got it. Mm, she walked away. She could have technically had a solid fight against me because she had the stacks available. Okay. I'll uh, I'll be farming bot lane. I'll try and shuffle it out as far as I can. Let's get some more. I need 500 for Trinity. Nice. It's not that much. So that's something we can do. No more jungle camps, I guess. Only Enemy killing Ooh, spree. best or bad. at all nice yeah I'm gonna head out of here I'll get my trinity my trinity is the most important item I can get right now Show me the path. Um, after we go eclipse provane into trinity uh, we are going to build into probably uh, two items matter most. I'm thinking about Black Lever or Sunrod Sky. Sunrod Sky is better for burst, and Black Lever is better for the long, uh, long extended fights. So if I run into Aurelia, we want to have Black Lever. If I run into any anyone other than Aurelia, uh, we need to have Sunrod Sky. 
Now what we can do... Okay. I don't think I can fight that. Now what we can do is we can build both of the items. I think our vet is going to look into stealing this. I got it before she steals that blue buff. There could be an Aurelia that's going to show out of nothing. And she has a build that is perfect for a 1v1. I got this. There's a ward in the tribush. I'm glad I'm able to like still like take all of the jungle camps away. Actually makes a very big difference. Aurora's in top lane. There's still a ward in the tribush. I'm not able to clean it up. They they can see what I'm doing right now. Okay, let's place a ward down. I want to see what our valley is up to, but I also don't want to show what I'm doing. You got it. And we walk back in here. Steal that John Kemp away. Oh, it's already been uh okay, very well done. My journey's only beginning. Is there a blue buff there, maybe? Nice. Zed is coming back in the game, too, right now. That's really good. I guess I'm going to stay around for her because the thing is being spawned in top lane. And I want to be able to rotate towards it. It's good that Arvelia is still in bot lane. Because Arvelia is their, um, is their strongest. And Arvelia is in bot lane. I was so close to that. I was so close to being able to beat that stuff. Not bad at all. We need one guy to back to base. I don't think my teammates really realize that. So I really want to go for the Sunder Sky right now. But I do have to go Black Lever just for Aurelia. So it's a, it's a real tough choice to make right now. Hmm. Let's go according to my plan. I'll probably get Black Lever last, I guess. Yeah, Jarfrin's dead. Never settle for second. We need to push this fast. Push next one too. We have no visional dragon, they're probably doing it. Yeah, they're on dragon. So I just keep pushing this out. Maybe I can draw their attention. Make them move towards me. Focusing me super hard. Oh, 
that Kane is like mega focusing me, and it, it's it's good. Like he's making a good choice there. Like honestly, it's very smart for Kane to focus me uh, right there, because I'm like the strongest of my team, easily. Like I, I can one versus five the entire enemy team if they don't delete me fast. <laughs> I've got so much damage, man. Wukong is like an excellent champion for team fighting, as you can see. Uh, it's just that like the fights we've had so far, they've been mainly one versus five. We haven't really ever grouped that like one time, like ever. Those times that I did went in, we didn't have the team follow along. So, in a actual like one for uh, five versus five scenario, we are actually a lot stronger. Actually, I want to be bot lane, uh, just for the ADC, so the ADC doesn't have to split push. Is that all they've got? Let's pick this up. Yeah, that guy got caught. My ability. I wonder if they know where I am right now. Oh, let's see what we can find. An enemy is unstoppable. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Hmm. I was actually really hoping I could beat that stuff all by myself there with Jarvan. <laughs> but the surveillance is so much more fat than I thought. <laughs> I'll be real. <laughs> There's no way on this earth these guys will stay alive because he keeps chasing them down. Oh, nice combo. Okay. Yeah, ADC is still dead. Yeah, it's mainly it's mainly that we're not able to group uh, the way it should. That's why these fights are so hard. It's playing in five seconds. I can help soon. Adapt to all situations. Okay, let's try again. Uh, two of their hips are open. But what, yeah, one of them is coming back now. Nice. We'll, we'll fix bot lane entirely. We might find our value here. Aurora's top lane? That's not bad. Still though, the entire team is missing. They could be here. So I can't push another one. Then again, like they could be on Baron buff. We have no vision, so it's very hard to tell. Yeah. Oh man, this game is so difficult to play out. It's 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 literally the fact that we are not able to group it the way it should. It it just makes this game so hard to play out. Like, for 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 instance, the most optimal way that this game could be played out was uh for me to be bot lane the way it is, and finding myself in a one v one scenario or one v two scenario. I don't care. If they react on my play. My teammates could do like a four-man Baron and actually win it because they would they'd be like four against three, right? Um, instead, like, like people are like kind of like like across the map, um, and we had my ADC like uh, eventually path bot lane. So my play is not gonna work. Uh, basically, you, you can see that back here too. Like they're grouping, which is nice. We have set top lane. Uh, he's he's about to face off Aurelia in a one v one, and he's going to lose it. Zed does not win 
in a direct 1v1. Actually? What? Absolutely! This is great, man. Wait, they're putting Z on... Let's fight this. I'm stuck. So we could try something out here. Maybe you can keep messing with them. Hmm. I got this. Yeah, we can't keep going. <laughs> that really is resetting, so it's no way. Still seems absolutely winnable in my eyes. Okay, this is looking good. It's looking good. It's looking very, very, very good. This is gonna be a dragon we get for. F Never mind. Never mind about that. You guys did not hear my words. You didn't. You guys did not hear that. Okay. I need everybody to instantly all in right here. This is a win. Guaranteed. No doubt. Should you all play it? Just that rally now. Only Aurelia. This game is over. 100% over. I'll just... What? Okay. I'll just finish. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm here to finish the game. I don't know why people focus Aurelia so much. Just end. End the game. End it fast. Can we win this stuff? I... Cannot believe he could not end the game right there, man. <laughs> there really was going in one versus five. <laughs> and no one did any damage. <laughs> the damage was completely non-existent. She was just jumping around. Oh, man. I'll sell. Um, I need like a little bit more. I would need a death stance. We need to go for Baron buff. Baron buff is the solution. I'm glad that all of the inhibs are down because this 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 thing is guaranteed right now. <clears throat> I guess dead stance is the answer, man. Like if I get dead stance, it is over. That item is so good. They can start if they want to already, like I don't mind to. Okay, we need to buff all lanes for Baron and that's it. 
never settle for second. Yeah, here we go. They can't stop this. Nice. Hey, this is Wukong top lane. Thank you so much for watching today's Wukong video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.